Here comes my review of the first device from this Munich-based manufacturer. I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and this is the Gigaset Me. So you maybe remember, I was on the launch event, but they never sent me a test sample. Also, the Gigaset Me was a fail, because they sold it for like 500 euro, which is way too expensive. Now EFOX sells it from China for 160, and this is when the Gigaset Me gets interesting, because for this price it's a real bargain. The phone comes in a premium Bayern München box and includes an international charger, a Type-C USB cable, a metal pin, user guides and a nice looking Gigaset headset which is not bad to be honest. Thanks to metal and glass, the 5 inch ME looks very stylish and the tactile feeling is very sophisticated. The chassis could provide better grip, because the smartphone is quite slippery. It's only 7.7mm and it makes it a very slim smartphone and it also feels good in my hands with its rounded corners and the weight of 160 grams. The display is stunning and has a good colors and viewing angles, also its brightness of 450 candelas per square meter is ok. There are different versions like the Mi, Mi Pure and Mi Pro. Efox sells them all and the specs are a bit different from model to model. This here comes with a snappy 810 at 1.8GHz, 1 a full HD display with 2.5D arc glass and 3GB of RAM as well as 32GB of ROM and a massive 3000 mAh battery. Also LT Band B20 is included and LT in my country works fine, but what's not included is an earpiece. So the glass should transport the audio like those strange bone conduction speakers, but I have to say that's a huge fail gigaset. The earpiece is really quiet and in a loud environment it absolutely sucks. Except of that, this phone is very well built, top-notch premium body quality. The Gigaset Me supports two SIM cards, but you cannot use a micro SD card when you use two SIMs. Both slots support LTE. The buttons are made out of metal and they feel awesome. At the bottom we have a Type-C port and a single mono speaker behind the right speaker grid. The top shows us a 3.5mm headphone jack and with good audio output for my taste and another microphone and an IR blaster to use it as a remote. Also in the right top corner we have a notification LED. Gigaset uses the operating system Android 5.1.1 in a visually customized version. The design of the user interface is pretty restrained and usually uses dark backgrounds and soft fonts. Wi-Fi was a bit low compared to all my other phones here like the P9 Plus Rex Compact and also 3G and 4G and GPS suffered a bit. This is probably because of its closed metal and glass design. The ROM comes with some bloat, but not a lot. Also a lot of Gigaset apps and even a test app that tests your smartphone features and offers you after sale support. Hopefully also for the devices bought from China. At the back there is a 16 megapixel Sony camera with an aperture of f2.0 and a pixel size of 1.34 micrometers. It can either be triggered via touchscreen or the fingerprint scanner and there's also a dual LED flash that helps in dark areas. The pictures of the smartphone convince it the first look. They look sharp and the colors are good. If you have daylight conditions you can take some pretty good shots, but while in low light there is too much noise and it gets kinda blurry. The dual LED flash helps here. The front facing camera is good, but also here you should have enough light. The colors are much darker and usually more saturated than in reality, but it's good for the cheap price and videos don't look bad, but there is no 4K recording, only 2K for no reason. Maybe heat problems. What's up guys, here's a quick front facing camera test with the Gigaset ME. And this is Chris Weiber from Weiber Records. We're here in the games in 2016. Just check it out right now, it's nice wide angle. We can easily get a smooth here picture. Now the image quality looks good. The audio, just listen for yourself because it's really loud here. And if you're really cool, of course, hashtag get Chris to 1 million down below in the comments. Do it now. Now! <lacht> Matthias, Matthias gegen Michael. Das Finale der Testung auf für 2017. The performance of the phone is good. The Snapdragon 810 doesn't really overheat, but it's only clocked at 1.8 GHz. Also, there is no heat booster, aka 4K recording. Despite throttling, you can also play fast titles like Asphalt 8 smoothly on the highest details. There is still enough power from the 810. 
The phone got a bit hotter than my axe compact while being on heavy load, but nothing to worry about. The integrated speaker is really loud, but not really a lot of bass and the highest OSD at max volume. But the sound from the headphone jack was really good. A 3000mAh battery is standard in this price range, and for a 5 inch smartphone, that's really good. The competition is on a similar level, and the day of use is no problem. Also quick charge helps, and the charging rates are insane. There's also a fingerprint scanner that works really fine, but it's not the fastest one, but really, really accurate. The heart rate scanner was terrible and didn't um, actually measure something for most of the time. And also it has a UV sensor, but to be honest, who needs that retarded feature? Just go outside and enjoy the sun. The ROM is okay, but only 22 gigs usable, memory consumption at around 50% and sometimes there's a bit of stuttering, but that's just like on almost every phone. Now this phone was a huge fail for Gigaset because it's just too expensive or was too expensive because right now it's only 160 and yeah this is a true bargain in my opinion if you can live with the low reception, call quality, slippery body, no 4k recording, a bit lower performance than other A10 devices but except of that it's really super nice quality. So this was my review of the Gigaset ME. Please subscribe to help us growing and give this video a thumbs up and also post down in the comments what you like or not like about the phone, what you want to see next or just something random. So thanks for watching guys, have a nice day, I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and this was the Gigaset ME, see you soon.